Okay, welcome. <clears throat> this time we're going to make a um, human figure model because as you know you're gonna use this with your IT class and of course you're going to work uh, also together with art class. So the first thing we're gonna do is materials uh, that you're gonna use is a green piece of paper and should be green because this will be your green screen so you can make the uh, special effects uh, with your IT class and we are going to make a, uh, a human figure that this will be your 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 figure because as you know you're gonna paste on the head a picture of your face so you're gonna animate your uh, Christmas card so let's begin with opening the clay you um, in, in, in my case I'm gonna use white as, as the color that I, sho I chose and well let me open it open the clay should be a block of clay okay and I don't think we're gonna use all of it because it's not too big the the, the human figure model is not gonna be so so big so first use only half yes because should be let me let me uh, show you should should be like this size the 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 figure should be like all almost your hand my hand is bigger than yours of course should be like this size okay the the the, the human figure so you're gonna use only one half and if we need more clay well you can use more clay so mold it yeah push the clay so you can use it and it should be like easier to manage like make like a a ball or I don't know you should be like using the heat of the movement of the pushing of the clay that gives heat to the clay and is easier to handle so first we're going to need to is like this size okay so we're going to use I'm gonna put away the the paper I'm going to put it right here and and this clay here so we're going to use uh, only a half of the block of the clay and first you're gonna cut it half well not half it's like a little bit more than half it's like this yeah break it half like this so this will be the torus and you're gonna need three more uh, no, this could be this is gonna be the legs. Okay, so take a little ball of clay like this, and a little pinch or a little ball like this. I think it could be like smaller than that. Could be two small balls because this will be the feet. Put this <laughs> together again, and you're gonna do this. It's like make like a like this, make like this, and do this. It's like almost cut half, but not gonna cut it all. Yeah, because this is the legs. This this is the part that will be the legs. Like this, and mold it. Mold like this. Mold like this, like legs. Yes. The best you can mold the clay, the better. Okay, like this. Shape it as is. Uh, this will be your legs, like this. Put them together, same size. Cut pieces if you need to. Yeah, like this. Shape it like this okay shape the hips or the waist like this yeah this is extra yeah and this too you see I'm, I'm going only to use one little small piece of clay for the feet so one foot goes here the other foot goes here but shape it as foot as a foot like this Paste it here 
and here. Okay, like this. You see? You don't need to 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 your model to stand up. It's only like this. Okay. Okay. Next, this other piece of clay you put you can put this in on the side, and this you're gonna take like first a big piece of clay. That this is the head. Yeah, you can shape it later. Two big balls of clay like this. Or two big pieces, like this. Yeah, this would be the arms, and this would be the body. But you don't need do too much. You can measure it like this, and shape it. Shape it like this. Yes, and this kind of size. This is the size. For me, this is like too big, so I'm gonna cut it a little piece here, put it away and check the size always check the size because it should fit and have pr proportion okay so this is the torus you can do this to make it flat yep this is a torus i need it to be flatter like this excellent you see okay now i have the torus and i need the arms so these two will be the arms you know how to mold clay use your hands and your fingers but remember that the arms should be almost the size of your leg not the hip the leg like this this is one arm and the other two shape it and also remember this is just a guide you can do whatever you want with your body for your card you can make like muscles like a, a very strong man or you can shape it as a, a character from cartoons i don't know but this is the way you should do it and later you can be creative so i have the body the torus i mean the legs the torus the the, the arms and i need this to be the head like this but maybe you will need a little bit of clay from here to make the neck oh well give me a moment because I need to finish the torse and the arms with hands and this is the the, the funniest part check you should do something like this you could you can uh, assemble it like this yeah to, to, to take uh, the size of the arm of the arms but we need to make the the, the hands and should be like this is like take one arm or take both and just the small tip of the arm take that piece of, of clay shape it again here and this will be the hands and the hands you need to use them with fingers if you want to right so these two should be the same size take a little pinch of clay if you need more clay use this this is the head and shape the arms like this same size okay well now we need to shape the hands and this is where you need if you have one you can shape it with a toothpick if you have plastic toothpicks or wooden toothpicks it's okay or with the the, the with a pencil but it should be very sharp and be careful oh. <laughs> came came flying you can check you can use the shape of the pencil and make like little lines like this but i'm going to use more practical i'm going to use a uh, toothpick okay ah, i already have this so first shape the hand paste it to the arm yeah make it like this put them together like this but you should see as an arm and the hand like this yep and then when you have the hand here push a little and shape the, the the fingers of your hand it's like this yes take away the clay here a line another line another line just to see that here are like fingers all right and shape it and there you have you have one arm and 
baste it to the torus like this all right okay like this paste it here because you're gonna move the figure then the next arm is the same is first paste it shape it and then make the marks with the toothpick for the fingers like this put away the extra clay like this and like this oh my god <laughs> I was like breaking my hands of my clay here like this all right can you see there so your arm of the mother arm paste it to the torus and you will shape it later because I insist you need to move this arms and the legs too all right now I shape the I paste I'm sorry the the arms both and here you need to push down because here goes the neck so as you can see I, I almost have all my figure finish and for the leg, for the head, I'm sorry, shape it as a shape of a head. Is your head is not a circle? It's a kind of a an oval. So first, make a a, a ball of clay like this, and then shape it as a head like this. No, this looks like an alien head. Come on, it should be like this, yeah, like a little egg, but not an egg. Okay. Like this you see and then a little piece of clay you can make it as, as a cylinder as a tube like this if you can shake shape it you can beat it on the, on the on the table like this yes there you go then <gasps> I'm out of a hand here don't worry, I'm gonna paste it again. Okay, there. Then I'm gonna paste the neck. Because this is important. Your figure should have a neck. Because remember, you're going you're going to put here um, a picture of your face, but digital. Using your knowledge on the IT class. Yeah, you need a neck, and then you're gonna put the head on the neck like this. And then you're gonna uh, put them together like this. Paste the waist to the torus like this. Remember, this is going to be on the paper, and you're going to do this. Well, now I have my figure finish. Yes, I can move the legs. I can move the arms. Yeah. And then you're not going to use it standing. You're going to use it. Like lay down on the green paper, like this. Put it here. There. This is your green screen. And what are you going to do with this? Remember, you're going to put a face of yours or a picture of your face here digitally. But what you need to do is take pictures of the figure moving like this or in different positions so you can an make the animation later in IT class so for example you're gonna put your figure like this this is very important you're gonna put your figure like this take a picture tch, tch, there after that you need to move you need eight to ten pictures so put it like, like this show your hands like this and then the next uh, movement is like this is a picture tch, tch. Picture number one. Picture number two is like put the, the 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 your one leg. Put it like here. Put your arms up like this. The other arm too. Put it up and take another picture. Picture number two. All right. Picture number three is like move your head like this. Put the the arm down. Put this this arm like here here like this. And the other uh, twist the, the, the leg, 
twist the, 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 the leg like this, put it in different positions like this, like you are dancing. Remember that you are going to dance in the, in the Christmas card. And this is another picture. Next. Oh, let me show you. Put it like normal. Move it like this. Yeah. Here. And take another picture. Then put this two, this arm up. Hi. <laughs> this arm, put it up. And this also put it up like this. Yeah, another picture. Then on the other side, move it like this, move it like this, another picture. Then one arm up, this arm goes here. Remember, it's like you're, you're dancing. And on and on. So be creative to make the movements for when you are like dancing for your animated uh, Christmas card gift, okay? So this is it for me. I hope you have fun. You can use this or we're going to use this extra clay later for another class and have fun. See you later, okay? Bye.